All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today, back with another video here for the first time in a while. Uh, season's over, game reviews are done. Um, and I just finished recording Don't Panic, episode four with Yareev. And uh, I'm sitting here and he brought up a good, a good thing on the podcast about Patrick being minus 30 and I wanted to make a video about it because it, the, the hate on Nolan Patrick is not necessarily something I agree with. Um, as many of you know, I love Nolan Patrick. I think he's a great player. Um, I think he, he's just had a a very rough going to his career. He's had just shit luck. I'll say that. Um, there's been a lot of things he's dealt with that many guys don't really deal with. Um, I mean, he's pretty much dealt with injury since he was like 16, 17 years old in junior. Um, you know, he made the NHL with injuries at 19 years old, and he's dealt with them since. And, uh, if you remember closely, uh, and I brought brought this up on the podcast, I've talked about the scrimmages that he played in in Winnipeg and things like that and why I thought they were important. And the one thing I didn't necessarily look at was the way Patrick played um, because, you know, obviously he's one of the best players on the ice. You know, you, you know that from the beginning, um, just from seeing the lineups and who's playing, who he's going up against. You know, it, it's just, you know, for conditioning is pretty much what it is. Majority of Patrick's shifts were about 30 to 35 to 45 50 something seconds were never really over a minute were very rare if they were you know and an average was probably 50 seconds 45 something like that um they were very short they were quick um and that's kind of what you saw in the beginning of this year right they were short shifts and you know we just talked about this on the podcast he didn't have that second gear to get to because condition you know his condition just wasn't good he wasn't there. He he basically didn't play for two years. So to come in and make the team, um, and this is kind of the thing like with the agent deal is like, I don't know what the agent deal is. Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm not too sure how that stuff works. I'm not going to sit here and try to make up something. I, I purely honestly have no, don't really know how agent deals work. Um, I don't know what kind of contract he could have got. I don't know if the contract was good for him in the beginning. Um, maybe he thinks he got a little ball by the engine. That's something that Yarif did say on the podcast. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know what deal Patrick could have gotten besides the one year. He could have maybe gotten more, but who knows. So, um, you know, I think it's tough. And, and, and as for him being minus 30, I think plus minus is one of the most overused stats in, in, uh, in hockey. It is just, if you look at it and it's extremely negative, it's like, wow, this guy stinks. Or it's like, oh, the team's bad or whatever. I think plus minus is more of a team stat. Um, in my mind, I would look at it as, um, I mean, I, I talked about it the other day. I said it to Yareev too on text and I brought it up on the pod. Uh, Eichel, he's been minus, I think, every year besides one in the NHL. And I'm not talking like, you know, a couple of minus are here and there, but like, he's literally like, 15 to 20 minus each year so it's not like he's having the best season ever it's just he's literally struggling because the team is just bad it's not because I was a bad player it's just the team defensively is not good so um I think Patrick can definitely get a little bit more money um he doesn't have much leverage but he has more than he did before because he played this year and um, I thought I thought he had a good year defensively. I will say that. I think there was a lot of plays where he made some good defensive plays um, and a couple lunging block shots. He was, I thought, just in the zone, he looked good. I mean, for, for what the team was, I guess you could say. Um, clearly, he could be better, and obviously everybody could be better. But, I, I, again, I don't necessarily think he was terrible. Um, I thought, you know, obviously offensively, you'd like to see a little bit more, but I think over time it's going to come. And again, he's 22 years old, so I'm not worried about it. I think he's a lot of skill. Um, but I think for him being minus 30, I think it's just some that people just want to throw and pick at for no reason. And I just, I don't know. I just think Patrick's a very good player and I don't necessarily think, um, the Flyers are going to give up, give up on him yet. So, um, this is definitely the first of many videos I'm going to be doing, uh, soon. I got a lot of stuff planned, um, Again, I'm finishing up school soon and stuff, so um, very shortly I'm going to be doing, cranking out some stuff, draft, expansion, everything. So seriously, guys, thank you all for the support. We hit 94,000 views total today, 
Um, it's unbelievable. I'm literally speechless uh, as I just found out. I just looked right before I did this. Um, so seriously, guys, thank you so much. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. If you missed episode four, don't panic. You can check that out. Um, it's on my YouTube. It's also on the Flyers and the YouTube, wherever you'd like to watch. Um, and remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.